thumbs down if you feel like you remember it well enough. Okay, great. I'm so happy to be with you guys again today. So yesterday, we worked on using what we know about syllables, right? And about prefixes, roots, and suffixes to help us break those longer words when we read. Today, we're gonna practice using what we know about syllables, prefixes, roots, and suffixes to help us when we write about what we read. Okay? So we're gonna do some writing together today about the article that we read a little bit of yesterday. Why is sunlight from the past still important today? So to get ourselves ready to do this writing, I want you to think for a minute about something that you learned or you think is interesting from this article. Just take a minute to think about it. You can show me a thumbs up when you have some ideas in your head. And go ahead and turn and talk. Turn and talk with each other. What is something you learned that you think is interesting? from the article that we read yesterday. Um, something interesting that I learned about the article yesterday was the, um, the thing uh, called um, chlorophyll or um, gives the color to like plants. And it was talking about photosynthesis. And the photosynthesis, of, I know that photosynthesis is um, how producers get their food. So like they don't like other plants that have produced their own food. Always um, so, um, it because uh, oh, oh yesterday we uh, we recognized I mean we indestructible. Um, it's just indestructible. And because you can't break. Them. Oh yeah, we learned about how plants like have chemical. Um, I forget that kind of energy when they read. Chem um, chemical energy. All right, why don't you come back and see? Thank you. So I heard some really interesting discussions. I heard some people talking about how energy is indestructible sunlight is stored in plants, right? And it produces um, energy for the plants. There's some really interesting ideas that we read about. So we're gonna write about, what did I think of them today about what we read? So let's think, what would we wanna teach somebody else about what we read? We learned, what are you thinking, John? Um, I'm thinking that um, um, there's um, chemicals in the plants that, um, that let um, the plants get food by photosynthesis, like the plant over there. So, like, the plant over there is getting energy from the sun because it's from photosynthesis. So we learned mm -hmm. that plants get energy from the sun, and that is called photosynthesis. That's one thing we could write about. Yeah. Somebody want to add on to that idea? Yeah, honey. Um, so yesterday we also learned about how Plants have like chemical. It's the opposite of kinetic energy, but I can't remember the potential. name. Potential. But, yeah, potential. Potential. Uh -huh. potential energy, chemical potential energy, which means they're regaining energy with, yeah, with chemicals. Oh, you guys are brilliant. So we learned that plants have, let me see if I'm saying this right, Chlorophyll. potential energy, right? Mm -hmm. with Okay, so let's put all these ideas together. Turn and talk with your partner. We have an idea about potential energy and plants getting um, light and energy from the sun. Turn and talk with your partner so we can think about what we're going to write together. Mm -hmm. So, like, one thing that we can write is that um, all plants have the chlorophyll that gives the color to the plants. energy is indestructible, right? And I'm also hearing that plants store potential energy. So, should we, can we put those together into a couple sentences that we're going to write about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, we learned. We learned that energy is indestructible. Show me a thumbs up if you agree that 
that that's something we learn, that that's something we might share with a reader in our writing. Yeah, so you said, Jason? We learned that energy is indestructible. Okay, so we're gonna do some writing, um, and I'm gonna give you guys a whiteboard here and a marker, and we're gonna practice breaking words apart to help us spell them. Can you take one? I'm happy to. Wait, are we doing this or? No, the blank side. Will you pass one back, huh? Okay. All right. I'm going to start us off. So we said we. You guys read the easy thing, you Okay. Okay, so you guys don't need to write anything yet. I'm going to have you use the whiteboard when we're breaking up some of those harder words. Okay? All right. So we learn. that energy is, now here's one of those interesting words we talked about yesterday. Indestructible. Indestructible. So let's practice figuring out how to write that word. There's two things you can do. One thing you can do is you can say the word slowly and listen for the syllable breaks. Another thing you can do is say the word slowly and listen for prefixes, suffixes, or roots that you know. Okay, so let's work on that together. Let's say the word slowly. Let's start by listening for the, the syllable breaks. Indestructible. So let's take it bit by bit. In. In. That's that prefix that we talked about yesterday, right? In. So I'm going to write that part, right? I N, pretty simple, right? In. Yeah, you guys go ahead and practice this. In. Wait, do we write we learn that? No, we're just going to practice breaking that word down. Does not the prefix N mean like not? It sure does mean not. In. Say the word slowly. In D. D E. D E. There's our open syllable. It's also a prefix. In D. Do you want any of Oh, I see. You can break this down. Okay. In D. Let's take it bit by bit. John, say the word slow. Now, struct. Go for it. Indestructible. Now, let's say this last part. Listen for what we hear. In the struct Listen to what I'm saying. In destruct able. It's an I. That's the suffix, right? Ible, able. In this one we have the I. Ible. In destruct the I. It's a long word. It is a long word. And look how you guys were able to spell it by taking it bit by bit, right? You said it slowly, you listened for the syllable breaks, and you also listened for any prefixes, suffixes, or roots that you knew. Nice. Okay? All right, wanna try another one? Yeah. Okay, so we learned that energy is indestructible. Let's add another idea that we learned. You can erase indestructible if you want. We also learned that, what? Go ahead and turn and talk for a minute. We also learned that. We also learned that plants have I'm hearing some readers say, if you agree that this would be a sentence we could add, you can show me some thumbs up. We also learned that plants save potential energy to use later. Does that sum up? Oh, tell it to me. We also learned that plants save potential energy to become kinetic energy, kinetic energy later. Would you agree that's something we learned? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did we write that? Okay, we also learned that. So the next one we want to break down is potential. Potential. Let's do the same thing. Let's say it slowly. Let's listen for the syllables and see how that helps us. 
Don't worry about that. We're good. Po, ten, show. Take it bit by bit. Po. P O O. No, no. Who's P O? Just P O. Po. What do you think? Broke it down. Oh. When you heard that P O, you also know this 